Hello, darlings. It's Polly Perkins and her little dog, Mitzi. And here we are filming at the El Dorado set. Remember El Dorado? How do you feel about it? Well, let's put it this way. I had a couple of letters this morning, and there's, there's always three questions. One is, when is El Dorado coming back? <laughs> That's the first question. This is a brand new fan letter that arrived this morning. Uh, the other one is, uh, when's your book coming out, and why haven't you made a record yet? <laughs> but it's always, the first question is yeah. always, when is El Dorado coming back, and why did it come off? And this is that time. I mean, people still want it, and they wanted it then. You know, I feel very, very sorry for all you lovely viewers who write to me all the time. You're absolutely wonderful. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it, and it's very sad. Very sad. <laughs> old El Dorado, which was actually made here in the Cohen film city, just outside of Malaga. And regularly they do tours, well, El Dorado tours. So what we need are a couple of tour guides and some tourists. What was this place like before it was built? Is there, oh, nothing is there, is there, here. Nothing here but the forest. Okay, let's have a walk over here and have a look at Bunny's house a bit closer. I've been looking in the tape mm. library. We've dug out some old footage of El Dorado yes. as they were making it. How long did it take them to make it? It took us a year to make it, and we did all the editing here at the studios. So all the crew were living in Mihad, Swingerola. Nobody lived here, just lots and lots of very vicious dogs lived here at the studios. Now, get a load of this. I mean, look at that, those houses over there. Take us through who lives in which house. Miss King's house, remember Miss King? The old lady who, yes. mm. demise of her piano disappeared, and you've probably seen that in the restaurant, that remains here. And Freddy, Freddy the gay guy. Oh, uh, wasn't that a great storyline at the end, do you remember? Do you know who Freddy love, Freddy's lover was at the end? Oh, no, we don't know. <laughs> it was, shall I tell? You go and you tell. It was, you know Nessa Lockhead's brother? Yeah. What was he, what was he called? Blonde hair. Blair. 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 It was Blair. No. No. Lots say it was the dishy doctor. <laughs> the dishy changed doctor. his ideas. What, Dr. Roberto Fernandez? Yes. We'll be seeing a bit more doctor later on in the show. Can you believe that, Blair? No, no, no. you don't. Let's have a, look, a quick word with the tourists. Right. Oh, we've got. Pay attention, woman. <laughs> pay attention. How many times have you been on this tour? This is my second one. I was bit. here last year. Yeah. The best bit is actually coming here. I find it ever so exciting. I took pictures home last year and I met the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Fell in love with him. <laughs> had this wonderful conversation with him. Oh, yes, what was it about? Well, you know, he's got a granddaughter the same mm. name as mine. Yeah. And, you know, he's Very charming. Yeah. I said, is that your husband? And I went, yes, and he's a lucky man. He gave me this big hug and a kiss. Ooh, uh. and for the rest of my holiday, I was, you know, don't wash that side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like walking around on an actual soap set? Because that's pretty amazing, isn't well, it? Yeah, I suppose it is. But it's, it's just like a real town, isn't it? Mm. You know, so really it's no different to a real town. Yeah. It's very nice. Are there any ghosts on the set? Anything like that? Not that I'm aware of. I think um, at night it can get rather creepy, as Paul, who lives here at the moment, can actually say. Do you think it's... Um, no, it's only the dogs. The dogs. They are, <laughs> they are because it's a beautiful set, and, and so that you don't get any intruders, they have very large dogs, rock violas. What's the word for nice doggy in Spain? A word for nice doggy? Nice doggy. Perrito. Perrito. Yeah. Yes, I'll be saying that a lot over the next few days so I don't get eaten alive. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. That is brilliant. You can get on with the rest of your tour, and I hope you enjoy it. Here, there is a tour, yeah. which tours around the old El Dorado set. Uh -huh. and. Yesterday I was talking to some of the tour visitors and the one name that kept on coming out was Franco Ray and how handsome he is and how sexy he is. Well, I don't know, you can ask him. Popular. She's going over the top, isn't she? <laughs> She's going over the top. I think it's the accent. It's the accent. I think what it with the women is the accent. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back after the break and talk to you about why you're back here working in this area and mm -hmm. you're doing more than just acting this time. Yeah. Very briefly, let's just tease the audience so they know what you're going to be talking about in part two. As I said before, I'm very anglophile, and I think Spanish television is the biggest piece of, I don't know how you say the next word, but a rubbish ever. So I decided to show the Spaniards how British TV is made. Part two, don't go away. Please. Yeah. This is the beautiful and I'm the bold. You Absolutely. said you were hot, didn't you, darling? I was, I'm very... <laughs>